Okay, we're looking at graphs of functions here. Now, this function here, all right, you tend to look at quadratics as far as this bit's concerned. Uh, this quadratic here looks like that. Okay, it's a, it's a negative quadratic, and there we go, because the x squared term is negative. Now, the vertex is the turning point, sometimes called the turning point, stationary point, whatever you want to call it. Now, in order to find that, okay, it's going to be a coordinate. I need to complete the square is the easiest, actually. So here we go. I'm going to complete the square, and I'm going to get uh, this. Now, first of all, I want to make the uh, x squared term positive because it makes my life a little bit easier, doesn't it? All right, so I do that. Then I'm going to complete the square, which is going to be x plus 3 uh, squared minus 9 minus 3 there. Okay, and that's going to give me 12 minus x plus 3 all squared. Now that means that the vertex, the turning point, is going to be at negative 3, 12. And the equation of line of symmetry, which, uh, now sorry, I should have, should have said, okay, uh, I get that the 12 comes from there, and the minus 3 comes from there, doesn't it? Now, the line of symmetry is going to be x equals minus 3. It looks like this um, goes through there, doesn't it? All right, because it's a parabola. So there you go. Now then, the coordinates where the graph meets the y-axis, well, that is just going to be um, this here, the c in the um, final uh, answer. So I'm going to get, uh, so in the original equation. So that's going to be my c. Okay, right, so we're going to do the same thing here. Now, this one, I don't need to do the first, I don't need to do this step, do I, because the x squared uh, term is already positive. So what I'm going to do is x minus 7 over 2 squared minus 49 over 4 plus 1, which is going to give me, when I simplify, uh, minus 45 over 4. And so the vertex is going to be at 7, 2, uh, minus 45 over 4. Okay, now the equation of line of symmetry, x equals 7 over 2, nice and easy. Now the coordinates where the graph meets the axes, we've got, um, let me change colour quickly, we have, this is one of them, isn't it? Okay, so we've got uh, 0, 1, alright, that's the y-intercept, we've just got to find the x-intercept. Now we do that by uh, solving this, essentially, and so I solve that and I've not got a lot of room, so... I solve that by doing, uh, I'll try and squeeze it in over here. So I'm going to get x, so it's where, sorry, I'm just going to rub out that. It's where um, this here equals 0. That's what I'm going to solve. All right. And so I get x minus 7 over 2, all squared equals 45 over 4. I'm then going to get uh, x minus 7, oops, minus 7 over 2 equals the plus or minus the square root of 45 over, over 4. Okay, and from that I can now do my two points. So 1 is going to be 7 over 2 minus, uh, actually, hold on, why don't I put it in 1? Big equation, give me a second, uh, there we go. So I'm going to do it as this, so it's going to be one big equation, 7 minus root 45 over 2, 0. And the other one's going to be 7 plus root 45 over 2, 0. Okay, so it's just, it's essentially, it's an exercise in can you complete the square is ultimately what these are, all right? But you're talking about bits of the graph, like the turning point known as the vertex, all right? But ultimately, do a load of completing the square and your answers will kind of appear.